this, but it's a big uh, discussion on TikTok and Instagram right now. They're saying they're talking about the Giants, uh, and they're saying that a lot of these structures, mountains, valleys, hills, uh, things that we see that we that we're like, wow, what's that? That's beautiful. They're saying that these used to be giants. So yeah. if you look at this right here, they're saying this used to be the head. This was the head of a giant. And somehow these giants turned to stone. So this is like an animation. It's not real, but it's like an animation showing how a giant laid down. And then maybe thousands of years from the time the giant laid down, we have stones, we have mountains, we have these, 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 these structures. But these structures used to be these giants that used to be alive. Doc, what's your thoughts when you see this and you see people talking about this on Instagram and on TikTok and on the internet right now, Doc? Well, for my teachings and my studies from so long ago, uh -huh. I remember this, uh, this particular thing that they are talking about. Um, what you're looking at is what nature responds or gives back as a reflection of humanity. Uh, they're called simulacra. Okay. Simulacra, if, have you ever seen somebody say that they looked at a tree and in the bark of that tree, there was an opening and it looked like the Virgin Mary was in it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Nature essentially is an artist. It actually is a call and response mechanism our, our ancestors knew how to communicate with it. Mm -hmm. But what we forgot is that it communicates with us as well. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> depending on the, the duration of the ancients' particular thought process when it comes to the myths and the legends, those people who hold on to them and who have a duration of culture that spans maybe a thousand or so years humanity does not know that nature picks up on these psycho spiritual uh what we call um when they they create these sigils mm -hmm. we have mental sigils that we create when we look at the way nature responds to us and thinks that each part like there's an earth god there is a water god there is a fire god there's an mm -hmm. air god and through the times that we, in our imagination, as, as, ascribe anthropomorphized figures, in other words, we turn a force into a human physical energy. In other words, we would say uh, that Heru or uh, Amen or any of these names, and we give a physiological figure to them, a human figure to them. Mm -hmm. That then becomes a template for what our thought process casts as a kind of communicative uh, uh, energy framework types of to nature. Mm -hmm. Now, the and best thing for you to do as well is to become very proficient in the use of the pendulum. Mm -hmm. I have to see if I could find that for you. But the pendulum is necessary for you to be able to locate which area the blockage is, and you have to become proficient at it because once the patient or the person is laying there, uh -huh. you can see the back and the spine, and you have to know where it is all the way from down the lumbar all the way up to the, 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 the cervix. And Once you understand how the body works, the anatomy works, then you do little pinpoints. You mark little pinpoints, and then as you are using the pendulum, you, 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 could, you, could, hit, you could hit it, Mm -hmm. and, and then remove yourself from it and then just ask the question of the energy itself that is there already trying to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Then you'll find yourself sometimes rocking this way because it begins to command your body. Mm -hmm. And so you have to move with it. And they say, well, no, look what you're doing. You're the one moving it. No, it's moving you. Mm -hmm. And until, you know, of course, there's some people who say, oh, man, I want to move it. I think I got to move it. It's not moving, Dr. Valentine. I said, give it time. It's because you want it to move. You're in the way. Right. You have to understand how to remove yourself from that particular process. Mm -hmm. So as it goes, you begin to find out. You ask questions. 
is their block here. And if it stops and then begins to go in, in the opposite direction, say it goes negative, mm -hmm. then you say no. It's saying no to you. Mm -hmm. And then if it stops, it says to you, ask another way. Mm. So you have to learn how to question the energy that you're asking for a response from. So once you get really good at that, then you'll know what it is. You can actually communicate via energy rather than waiting for you to take a blood sample and the whole nine yards. At the African Street Festival, people used to come to our table who were pregnant to find out whether it was a boy or girl. And I was 98% correct. Whew. With the pendulum. With the pendulum. Wow, yeah. Doc. <laughs> you was into this stuff heavy, huh? Heavy. I had a <laughs> laboratory, King. I'm telling you, I had a laboratory. I had an alabaster counter. Yeah. And I was dealing with what we call radionics uh -huh. back then. Uh -huh. I could take a sample, say, for instance, I could take a sample of your hair. Uh -huh. And I had this thing... Um, Hoffman, there was this Jewish dude uh, out of New Mexico who used to create these uh, specific things where you could take a sample of somebody's hair or, or saliva, sperm, whatever it is, that radiating energy that you have, for instance, of your hair, mm -hmm. no one else on earth has it. Mm -hmm. So with the Tesla coil underneath this with some numbers set up, and a little tiny tray for you to...